Oh la 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 um, so yes, there's an Andrew Hughes match, he's on the same team I've used in my last two matches. Um, I quite like this team, um, this, this still needing to make a few changes to it, but I'll probably try to get a new updated team up soon. So yeah, I glued a hip held on, I protect his stealth rocks, and yeah, I just wanted to make sure he wouldn't and try to give me a scarf. Um, it's also nice that I'm version someone who isn't using an Andrew Hughes weather team. Um, this is for a change to see how well I actually cope just against another one they used. I do quite like this team, uh, as I said, but I'm mm, not too sure. Some parts, like particularly this battle you see later on, is it's not the funnest thing to actually use at times, um, particularly if I get certain things set up, but uh, it was probably quite useful when for turning wise and stuff like that. So yeah, he's underways me there now, and I can't remember what I did. I think I've got a wish up or something. Um, yeah, I think I do or something. He has draws here, I go for the seismic toss, and he brings in the Altaria. And yeah, I really like Altaria, just for the actual look. And I hear that 14 HP there, major difference. But yeah, so I'm thinking I should maybe love the attack he's got, providing he hasn't specs or banded or that. So I decided to go for the encore so I could switch something into his attack, or if he drank dances, like he did, it will just be quite useful. So I decided just to go for a seismic toss and get whatever comes in now, and yeah, I get the Espeon. Um, so I'm thinking this might actually be a fairly bulky one, as obviously seismic toss does 100 HP, and, and yeah, I was thinking that maybe do a bit more if he wasn't as bulky. So yeah, I just go for a wish here, and he and tri I think he's already tried the choice scarf, isn't he? Yeah, he's tried the choice scarf, but he's got the leftover. So I'm obviously gonna have to switch out here. I decided just to go to Altaria, so should be able to take any attack from the Espeon as it's a very special defensive Altaria, named after Joel, or Pet on Judico from YouTube, or Mega Pet. Um, but yeah, so I get a wish and whatnot, and here are the leftovers. But because he's brought Azamar around, I know he's going to go for the Ice Plunge, and obviously this is one of my big weaknesses as a team. I don't have anything to take ice. One Pokemon that's four times weak to ice, three that are two times weak to it, and two more that are just neutral that don't resist it. So yeah, I'm probably going to change the team quite a bit. Um, I'd probably try to keep a few members, add a few more, and switch around and whatnot. Um, but I'm not sure when I try to upload them, so I have roughly about like, 40 videos on my, well, 40 save files on my desktop. The battles I actually need to record, I'm about 50 more I've recorded and need narrate, and that's just a lot. And then because I've not actually, there are like periods of time when I don't upload for a while, and then there's periods like now when I've uploaded quite a lot recently. You know, past few days and one other um, near beginning of the week and whatnot. So yeah, this is probably where the game changed as I get the curse up or up to the curses now, I don't know. Um but yeah. Um Reggie Rock, I get the curses up, he goes through toxic with chat and um, quite good for him. Um one thing I hate is just when you're going to go for something like Toxic or Willow Wisp for the first time, nothing else in their team's poisoned or burned and it misses and it's like, oh, that's kind of fair. Like, fair enough if you've already burned, like, one or two of the other guys, and then you miss the third time, it's like, oh, that's alright then. Or the bad luck, it always seems like, all my battles I've seen, um played and whatnot, if someone goes for a will -O and a flash fire Pokemon comes in, the will practically always seems to hit. I've only seen, like, a few times, as being unlucky that I missed. But yeah, I'm getting the curses up, he waterfall to get the other curse up, and that was kind of a bit of a bad move there, because I forgot about the poison, and seeing the HP there, I'm thinking, I may love this, I may not, and luckily for me, I love it, 27 HP, that's 24, and 27, fair enough, and he never got a flinch or that, so it's quite good, and get the rest. Um, so you can see where this is going to be going, it's rest, curse, well actually, I don't think I'll do any more curses. Like, apart from ones again, sleep talk, as I never really wanted to go, oh, by the way, I could get six curses up. I'm a very good player. Um, but yeah, I got a curse there in the sleep. Um, because I never, like, I don't really need that many curses, to be honest. I think in total, I'm like four or five, but I mean, like, I may not do too much damage with Rock Slide, but I don't need that much defense, and I don't want to make it too hard, like, to lose and whatnot. I kind of feel bad as well as all the rest, and I had to, I kept doing as well. Um, even I guess the disadvantage of the rest is I have two turns of sleep. I have a 33% chance to get an attack and a sleep talk. So yeah, it's kind of disadvantages for me. So even for the hidden power a few turns ago, he thought it was grass. 
but it was actually something of a set that I'd resisted. I think quite useful if it was grass, because um, I think he goes for a Thunderbolt now, and I remember correct. Oh, he did Thunderbolt some time ago, maybe it's this turn. Um, yeah, he goes for Thunderbolt now, you see how much this does. Um, yeah, there's quite a fair amount. Um, Hidden Power Grass would have, I think would have done a little bit more. As if it was 70 base power, that would be double super effective, so it would be 140. Um, Thunderbolts, about 95 base power, plus the star would be about 45 or something. Actually, no, Thunderbolt would probably do a lot of the same, wouldn't it? If it's about roughly a bit over 47 or something onto it. Yes, mental maths is not my strong point. But yeah, I eventually got lucky and whatnot and took it down or something without paying attention there. And um, so he goes for Psychic there, I rest. For Luckily for me, never got any special defense shots, which actually would have been quite nice for him. I was like, I would have been like, oh, special defense shot. But I mean, at this point, considering how much um, Regirox took down, I'm thinking, um, it would kind of be fair for him to get something like that or a crit or that. But yeah, it takes quite a while for anything like that to actually happen. Um, I could actually switch Reggie Rock out, I guess, but I didn't really want to waste the curses and whatnot. Um, but yeah, um, so there's not really too much interesting things to see. I mean, like, this Reggie Rock, it works really bit well. It's good if you really want to win and whatnot, but maybe for watching and what that, it's probably not the most funnest thing to actually see. Um... I mean, it's just like a guy's got a bunch of curses up, he's got a special defense increase because of Sandstorm, and the other, his opponents have having a bit of a difficult difficult time taking it down. Like, what's so interesting about that is, like, no prediction or skill really needed at all. Five euro could do this. I'm gonna go for curse, curse, and low HP, rest! Sleep talk, sleep talk, sleep talk for two turns as you wake up in the third, and then attack again! And yeah, and whatnot. Um, also, if there's any kind of battles you want me to try and upload or that, um, you can always just leave a comment on that, as I do have, like, generally do most kinds of battles. Um, probably double team battles of any kind are probably my weakest point. Um, but I do have stuff like Uber Team, um, underused, never used, overused, not fully evolved. Actually, I don't think I've got a um, little cup either. Um, and his little cup is more like the first evolution chain, why not fully evolved, just anything that's not fully evolved and isn't a complete pain like Cypher or Transy or whatnot. I say what not a lot, but yeah, any kind of battle you want to see, I'll try and get it loaded. The main difficulty with some kinds of battles is actually finding an opponent to play. Um, as like something like not fully evolved, not everyone plays it, so getting someone to actually play it is kind of difficult. And you got a crit there, so that was quite good. Eventually got Reggie Rock down. So I bring him and can't turn in now, he's obviously stuck on the waterfall, so I know he's not going to be doing much. If he decides to stay in, fair enough. I'm going to go for the sub anyway in case he switches. He switches Cordelia, I get the sub up, but it's pretty good. Um, something with Sand Veil, um, a sub is kind of broken, I guess, but, um, yeah, so there's a decent amount. So, he goes for a rock slide, it hit, um, considering, I don't know, it's, maybe it's something like a 70% chance to hit, so I think, but it's like there's a 9%, I get like a 20% increase in uh, evasion. So, I go for Focus Punch, I get a crit, I don't think it really mattered that much as Focus Punch plus Seed Bomb, I think, would have killed. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, he may have lived, but I think overall, I probably just took him down anyway. But if he did get poison on me, that could have caused some problems, actually. Um, but yeah, he Aqua Jets, it's his best option. Uh, seed Bomb, and actually takes him out. I was thinking it actually made a little bit, but yeah, whatever. I also had, what's it, um, two, three more members of the team. I still had Needle Queen left, too, so I have Altaria I still had left, and then I had the hippo thing which you can't see so yeah good game there kappa rate comment subscribe thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed and i'll hopefully get more battles up soon and um, hopefully tomorrow or maybe the after. actually tomorrow's sunday so i should get one up so yeah hopefully more battles soon